I'm really excited about today's project. I'm gonna get to get really creative, a little, little wacky. Um, our word of the day is the word collage, and the project is called Crazy Collage Faces. I'm excited. A collage is a piece of art that's made by combining and attaching different parts or materials together. I'll show you some examples. This artist created a collage that represents our planet Earth. They used ripped pieces of magazine pages and focused on the colors that they felt would represent the planet the best. Once they had all the pieces, they created the background first by gluing down all of the black ripped pieces of magazine pages. And then on top of that background, they then glued down all of the blue and green pieces. Once everything was glued together, you can see the form and the shape of the earth. This artist used scraps of colored pieces of paper as well as cut pieces from a magazine to collage together a fish. This is called a mixed media collage. It's mixed media because the artist used lots of different materials to create their piece of artwork. They use paint for the background and metal and beads and scraps of materials to create the bird. This artist, Romar Bearden, is an excellent inspiration for our project today because he creates collaged pieces that use different pattern paper, different textured paper, as well as different magazine cutouts and creates people, um, especially focusing on the different gestures and different expressions on their faces. And remember, we're going to be creating crazy collage masks, so we're going to really be thinking about how we can collage faces. Here's another artist, Kimmy Cantrell, who is a great inspiration for our project today. We can see him here in his studio holding one of his mask-like face pieces. What he does is he actually uses the medium of clay to essentially collage together the different parts of the face. So he creates each eye, each nose, each mouth, each little element separately, and then puts it together. We'll be doing something very similar today. Not using clay, but we'll have a very similar process. Here are some more of his pieces. What I want you to notice when you look at these is the way that he combines different colors, different textures, even sometimes having eyes that don't match, different unique shapes for the nose, a mouth that might seem to be a little bit skewed or a little bit to the side, right? to really create faces that seem full of movement and that seem a little bit abstract, although we can recognize what they are. So for today's project, you'll need some white paper, markers, pencil, scissors, your glue stick. You'll also want an assortment of different colored papers. So I have papers of different sizes, lots of different colors. I actually even have some that got a little wrinkly from some water damage, but I can still use them for the collage because they'll add some, um, some more texture, which will be really nice. Um, I have some old small scraps. Again, since we're collaging, we can cut them up to how we want them. I even have a piece of paper that from when it got wet, um, it got some of the coloring from the black piece of construction paper, but it made this really cool pattern and almost a cool texture, so I want to use that in my collage. I have some old scraps of origami paper that I can use, as well as some images that I cut out of magazines. I thought that the paper airplanes were pretty cool and I could use them somehow maybe in my face, whether it's kind of makes me think of maybe some eyes, if like an eye was crying, um, or you could think of it maybe some way for a mouth or ears. We'll play around with that and think about it. As well as I really just liked the colors, um, this, these green colors. So again, when you do your collages, think about all of the different textures and colors that you'll be able to cut up and then we'll put all together 
to make our piece have a lot of life, a lot of expression, and to be really dynamic. Once you've collected all of your materials, the first step of this project is to create your head shape. Here are some examples of different face shapes to kind of help you brainstorm what you want to use for your project. You don't have to necessarily choose one of these, but this can really just like help you brainstorm and help you get an, an idea of where to start. So I've decided that I want to have a square face shape. I'm actually even going to sketch it out, um, not even on my whole big piece. I'm sketching it on a scrap because we're, we're going to be cutting all the different pieces up. But you're welcome to sketch yours on your whole white paper if you'd like. Um, so I have chosen the square shape for my face. Um, it's not a perfect square. It dips down a little bit at the bottom for the chin. It's also not perfectly symmetrical, which is fine. These faces, they're fun, they're, abs they're a little bit abstract, so it's okay if they're not perfect. I think it's a little bit more fun that way. So once you have um, sketched your face shape, you can either sketch it on the white paper, or if you want, you can sketch it right on a colored piece of paper. I'm gonna choose a white paper, because I'm gonna add, I'm gonna use some markers later to add some color, but you're welcome to do it right on that colored paper if you want. So once you've sketched it out, then you can cut it out, and then, if you've done it on the white paper, you can get your markers, make it more colorful. I mean, really, you can make a colored piece of paper more colorful as well. So, choose your face shape, sketch it out on either a white page or a colored page. Once you've sketched it out, you can cut it out, and then you can add some decorations. You're welcome to pause the video so that you have time to do this. All right, so I have cut out my face shape. I see a little bit of pencil over there, so I'm still just gonna kind of like slice that off. If you by accident, oh my goodness, dip in, you know, that's okay. Right, these aren't perfect faces, and sometimes the more kind of silly and the more abstract you get, the more fun they are. So I have my face shape, it's square-ish, and now I'm going to add some color and some patterns. I'm gonna start by just using my yellow marker to make kind of a wavy zigzag pattern. You could choose to even paste if you wanted some colored paper to this. Like if I wanted to, um, I could take some of, and maybe I'll just do it. Um, I can take some, I'm sticking with this yellow color for, for my face. So I'm even going to, I can cut out And cut that out and really just sort of I can attach it to different parts to help bring more pattern and more layering and more collage elements to my crazy collage face. All right, so I'm gonna get my glue stick. Where did I put it? Here we go. I'm gonna get my glue stick and I'm just gonna glue that down is an extra step if you wanted to just sketch your face cut your face shape and add a little color that is just fine I'm choosing just to show how you can take it to another level if you want to right, and I chose to kind of choose different shades and different values of um, all one color you could choose to have many colors for this I just know that I'm going to be adding again I'm trying to see where it fits best um, I know I'm going to be adding a lot of other elements, collaging in a lot of other elements onto this. So I'm just starting with just yellow. I have this part that kind of sticks off. So I'm just going to cut that off to keep my square-ish face shape. And there we go. Already, just for my face, I have a lot going on. Your second step is to create your eyes. So here are some ideas of different eye shapes that you might want to use. You could have both your eyes the same style, or you could have one eye one style and the other one a different one. You could even combine two different styles. Totally up to you. So I've put my, um, my face to the side, 
and I'm now working on my eyes. So I actually, I want to do uh, two different kinds. So one that I want to do is the one that they call the leafy because it has the base shape of a leaf. And I want my other one to be a circle. So I'm sketching it out on another piece of paper. Again, if you want, you could sketch it out on a colored piece of paper. Um, the eyes I'm still going to do on the white. And so I have my leaf shape and my circle shape. And then from there, you can then get your markers and add color. Add some different textures and designs. Maybe I want the bottom to be a thicker line, right, with a nice... I'm just adding to do um, an eyebrow as well. You could choose to do your eyebrow totally separately. It's up to you. And then here, just adding a little more detail to my circle one. That one I'm going to make very dramatic. Add a little blue to this one. But again, it's up to you. So it doesn't have to be totally realistic. I'm going to put a little bit of red in the middle of there. And then, once you have your eyes sketched out, you've added some color, then you can cut them out. And after they're cut out, then you can glue them on right, right, you can glue them where you want them on your face. If you don't want to glue them right on, you can also wait until you've created your other um, face parts. We're going to work on nose, uh, mouth, ears, and talk about some other options you might have. So um, I think a great idea is if you want, you can cut them out and lay them out where you think you want them um, if, you're, if you're not ready to glue them down right away. So now would be a great time to pause your video, uh, go maybe go back and look at those different eye shapes, choose what you like, sketch them out onto another piece of paper. It could be white or colored. Add some color, cut them out, and we'll kind of collect all of our pieces over here on our face, and then we'll be able to lay that where we want them. So I also just decided that um, when I cut my, so I cut my eyes and the eyebrow and everything out, and I, I laid them out on my face, I haven't totally decided if I'm going to put one sort of above the other. I kind of I like the way that looks. I like the way that this collage piece frames that. But there's something about this eye that just doesn't feel right. I feel like it doesn't pop enough. So what I'm gonna do, and you can do this as well if you'd like, I'm going to actually glue it onto another piece of paper. So I'm gluing it on to a green piece of paper. Oops, I got a little gooey on my finger there. Um, so I'm gonna glue it on to this green piece of paper and then cut that out. And you'll notice Take the time to cut this here. You'll notice that then when I put it down and place it down onto my face, it should pop a little bit more. And when I say pop, I mean like to make it stand out. It's not actually gonna pop off the page because it's just paper, right? But now it actually stands out a little bit more. So if I wanted to, I could glue these eyes right down. Um, or what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait just because I want to see once I have some other elements I want to see is this really where I want them. I think it is, but I'm not ready to fully commit yet So we've done our head shape. We've done our eyes now It is time for our nose right another very important part of a face Here are lots of different nose shapes. This might be a nice time to pause your video and explore what you see here. You might choose one. You might do a combination of different noses and just choose one that you like. Maybe you'll even try out a few and then play around with them on your face to see which one seems the best. I am going to sketch my nose out onto um, my scrap of yellow paper. I chose this scrap because it's actually a different value than in like a different shade of yellow than what I've used before. So I have kind of like this darkest shade, this lighter, um, and then this is sort of in the middle. So again, like I just really like, especially with collages, trying to think about how many different layers and different um, elements I can bring into my piece. So I'm going to sketch my nose here on uh, this other piece. And so I'm sketching it out with my pencil. I'm gonna make it kind of silly. And again, I'm actually looking at, at that and I don't know if I totally like that. So I'll try that one out, but then I will also try something a little bit more lumpy <laughs> on on as well. So I have my two, no uh, my two noses sketched out. I'm gonna choose to just trace over it in a black marker. You can do whatever you want. 
You can sketch it out on white paper or another colored paper as well. I'm just choosing this yellow. So I've sketched out my different noses. If you want, you know, you can add some other patterns to there. I don't know if you really see. Yeah, you can kind of see that yellow on yellow. It makes like a nice extra layer to that. And I'm going to then, so I've sketched my nose. I'm going to cut out my nose. And then just like I did with the eyes, I'm going to place them down on my face. Eventually I'm only going to choose one of the noses, but I want to place them down on my face and kind of collect my body parts there um, until I have them all before committing to gluing them down. So that one, I don't hate it. I actually, I like that a little bit. Um, so that maybe that will be my choice. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll get super crazy and have two noses. I feel like I'm not going to do that. But it is an option because I am the artist and I can choose to do what I want. I think I like that one better. But again, I am just not sure yet. So I'm going to sort of leave them both right there. And actually, they do look kind of good together. Well, we'll see. Um, again, I'll leave them both right there, and when I have uh, my other elements, I will make my final choice. So you can do the same, right? Pick your nose shape, sketch it out, cut it out, add some color, and collect it onto your head. All right, next we need to create the mouth for our crazy collage face. Here are some ideas to help you brainstorm. Perhaps you'll even come up with a mouth shape of your own. Feel free to pause the video to take a better look at what you see here. All right, so for my mouth, I've decided I want something kind of like balloony, very bubbly. So I'm going to sketch it out here. I also don't want mine to be totally symmetrical. My face itself so far I know is not symmetrical. Still not sure what I want to do about those noses. Um, but I do know that I want something that is a little silly and not totally perfect. Might like that, not totally sure yet, so I'm going to try to sketch out another one, see if I like it better. Again, I just, I know I don't want it to be totally symmetrical, and I do want it very kind of like bubbly to go with my face. So I've tried out a couple different um, mouth shapes. You can do that as well after I've tried that out, tried them out, then I can go over it with some marker. Um, I keep choosing to trace over my... Um, body parts. See, I already know I don't really like that one as much, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, I keep tracing it with black. You are welcome to trace yours with any color. I am. I also decided to make my mouth red. You don't need to do that. You can choose to have your mouth have any colors that you want. Um, I am going to add some extra pattern to my mouth by just using this red marker. So it's a subtle pattern. Just add a little bit more depth to my piece. So I do like this one better. So I am going to cut that out. You could cut out the top and the bottom lips separate or you could keep them together. I am going to keep mine together. So this is a really a chance for you to get creative, right? Your mouth can be any shape. It can be any color. You are the artist. You get to make those choices. So I know my mouth is going to go right down there. As and. You know, this, this happens when you're doing your art. As I'm looking at that together, I'm really starting to think that I just like this nose better. I like the fact that it has sort of that similar kind of balloony shape as my mouth. But I also like that to have my mouth like a little bit to the side like that. So I'm going to keep playing around with that. Um, but at least I'm starting to really start to visualize the face that I want to create. Now it's time for our ears. Here are some different sketches of examples that might help you think about the type of ear that you would like. And remember too, your ears don't have to match, right? Faces have two ears, but you might choose to have different shapes or different sizes. I know that just like I have two different um, shape and size eyes, I also want to have two different ears. So for my left ear, I am going to do something larger. And then for my right ear, I'm going to do a different shape, just sort of almost like a backward C, and it's a little bit smaller, doing some different um, designs, right? We have different kind of lobes of our ears, so I'm doing that. 
and um, I decided to do it right on my white paper. You can choose to sketch your ears out on any color paper that you'd like. I am going to have a combination of both blue and black outlines for my ears. You can choose to do whatever you want, artist. And you can make certain parts of your outlines thicker, certain parts thinner. And then once your ears are all sketched out, um, then you can cut them out and again collect them over and place them where you might want them to be on your face. So now's a great time to pause the video, choose um, what ear you want your ear to look like, sketch it out, add some color, and then cut it out. All right, so we really have a lot of our main parts of our face. We have our head shape, we have our eyes, perhaps you made an eyebrow, nose, mouth, ears, but faces can oftentimes have lots of other parts too. So now would be a great time where maybe you have a chance to create what other face parts that you want to add and glue on um, to your pieces for perhaps if you hadn't done eyebrows yet, perhaps you want to, perhaps you want to do some type of facial hair like a mustache or a beard. You could do hair up top. I think that's what I'm going to do. You could do freckles, really anything you think of. Maybe you just want to add some extra pattern and some extra color to your face. So I'm going to use um, that piece that I, that scrap piece of paper that I had kind of told you had gotten wet and some of the dye from another piece of paper got on it. I really just I love the pattern and the texture. So I'm going to use it to make my hair. Um, again, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sketch it out first. So I'm kind of have like that, I know that it goes sort of from here to about the edge. So as long as I keep my hair within that, at least at the bottom, I know that it'll fit right off on the top of my head. You are though welcome to, you can make like a big bubbly thing and put it on there. It's really up to you. You're the artist. I just know that I want my hair to go whoop, straight up from the top of this head. So I... I'm going to make it spiky. I have a lot of round parts, rounded edges, so I am going to add some spikes to the top of this crazy face for their hair. So now's a great time for you to, if you want to, you can pause the video, brainstorm, and uh, sketch out, cut out what you want for your hair. It almost looks like a crown. I like that. It could be interpreted as hair. It could be interpreted as a crown. It's up to the viewer. But as the artist, I'm happy with it. So take the time that you need to make your extra face parts. And then once you've done that, come back to the video. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to assemble all of our collaged parts together. Um, you can do that right if you want to do it on a background uh, sheet of paper you can that's what I'm going to do or if I wanted to I could choose to just take my glue stick and glue all the parts right down on here but as I said I want um, I want to add even more color again this is crazy collage faces so more color and patterns so I'm actually going to get one of my um, pattern pieces of paper um, if you don't have a pattern piece of paper you could create one by using a white piece of paper and drawing a pattern right on there. Um, but I have this uh, patterned origami paper. It's actually it's a scrap of it, but I'm going to use that as my background. Um, part of my head might even pop off the top of it, but that's okay. I really like what I've done so far, and so I'm going to continue working with that. So, uh, oh, I almost lost my ear there. So what I'm going to do, and what you should do now too, um, and we'll take some time probably off, probably a good idea for you to pause your video to do that. Um, lay it on your background sheet of paper or just right on the face that you've created and take time with your glue stick to glue all the pieces down. Have fun doing it.
So here is my almost complete crazy collaged face. One thing that I realized when I thought that I was done was that I never used those paper airplanes that I cut out of the magazine that I liked so much. So I did, I trimmed the size that I wanted, I put some glue on the back, and I'm actually gonna add them as one more collage detail onto my face. Hope you had as much fun doing this project as I did. I feel like I have so many uh, colors and papers still that I would love to use that I might even make another one. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.